Welcome to another zoo tour. In this one we will visit the Wilhelmina Gardens in Stuttgart. Known for the amazing and historical botanical gardens and greenhouses, which are also the focus of this video, and of course all the cool reptiles and other animals that live here. Before we visit the greenhouses and the occupants, I have to say I left the zoo with a bit of a mixed feeling. The greenhouses were great, but I felt like a lot of the outdoor enclosures were kind of bare and not up to standards anymore. They obviously were improving on many fronts, but seeing one of my favorite big cats in a relatively small cage showing the behavior it did was a bit disappointing. To be honest we were limited on time but this was my impression. If you've ever been at this zoo I would love to hear your insights and experiences. When you come through the main entrance you can almost immediately walk into a long row of great looking greenhouses. I have personally never been at a place like this so it was an amazing place for me to visit. Every part of the greenhouse there was an obvious theme, whether it be tropical, tree ferns, orchids, you name it. I would advise everyone who is into natural reptile or animal keeping to visit botanical gardens like this. You see and learn so much about substrates, different species of plants from a certain environment, mounting techniques. There was a lot I could take with me and applicate in my normal day uh, yeah, animal keeping. When you reach the end of this row of greenhouses, you enter a very high greenhouse with a carpet of selaginella ferns and big banana trees. Connected to this area is one of the newer parts where we find the first animals. This new section looks really well, very clean, everything looks very proper. It was obvious that it was quite new, so some things needed to grow in still, but I did like the looks of it. In general, the enclosures were not super big, especially for some of the active species like the Roadrunner, but it did look very well. And again, this is just my personal opinion. Next up is the aquarium section. I was very impressed with all the different species and aquariums. There was a clear separation between the tropics, cooler areas and they even had some deep water species that I have not seen in the Netherlands yet. Most setups seemed habitat or at least area specific when it comes to selection of fish, corals and other creatures. 
I'm a big fan of aquariums in general. As you might know, next to the reptiles, I also have a saltwater setup. So visiting places like this are again a way for me to learn and take away ideas that I can incorporate in my own way of keeping. At the end of the aquarium section we find some aquariums with freshwater fish and eventually one of the most popular turtles, the Fly River Turtle, providing a nice transition into setups with semi-aquatics and the reptile house. As the rest of the zoo, also the reptile section was very clean and properly set up. Most animals had plenty of space and the terrariums were not crowded. When possible there were live plants and many places to hide. The croc area was also very nice, very big, very high, beautiful mangrove tree in there. They gave some history on the crocs that were over there and uh, they came from farms so I would not be surprised if one could be a hybrid but I'm definitely not an expert on crocodiles so maybe I'm wrong. Seeing the way they kept their big snakes was a big contrast compared to the rest of the terrariums and I do wonder why this choice was made. Anyway, back to the cool stuff like the sun gazers, a species that is unfortunately threatened in the wild but highly sought after in our hobby. Unfortunately, I don't know of any hobbyist or zoo who is having long term success with the species so I do wonder about the future for this species, at least in our hobby.
For the next part of this video, we check the Amazon house. Again, you can see a lot of different plants and you really can see the focus is on plants in this zoo. There was a nice selection of animals in here too. Some I was not able to get on camera because they were using all the vining plants to cover the netting, which was obviously great for the animals, creating visual barriers between the visitors and the animals. was a fun zoo to visit but nice species very clean you could clearly see the difference between the older and newer parts and there were clearly still some parts that needed to be improved on but overall i enjoyed it and again i was low on time so maybe i did not see everything to make a proper judgment it was a relatively big zoo so if you ever decide to visit make sure you have plenty of time to do so